Well, new at six, the Modesto family is devastated after their car was stolen yesterday morning. But that's not all. Their grandfather's ashes were inside that car. ABC 10's Kurt Rivera has their plea for help. 65-year-old Jeffrey Dugan of Modesto was a beloved grandfather. His livelihood was pest control, but to his 16-year-old granddaughter, Michaela, he was known as Papa, funny and kind. Um, he spent a lot of time with me and took me and my friends to do things and would just always be there for me. But just over a year ago, he died of cancer. He wanted Michaela to have his beloved 97 Acura. However, it wasn't running because the family didn't have the money to fix it. That is, until two weeks ago when they got the money to get it started again. He was very giving. He helped all of us, the, our whole family, when we needed it. If he could, he was helping us. But Sunday morning around 6 near Scenic Drive in the cemetery in Modesto, a security camera caught this Honda sedan pulling up to the Acura. Two men get out and quickly steal it. Also inside, the ashes of Jeffrey's father, Michaela's great-grandfather, Timothy Dugan. When he passed away, a lot of his belongings were put into the trunk of the car before my daughter received it, and the ashes were one of the things that were in there. When the family reported it here to Modesto police, they said they were told that nothing could be done. That's because the owner's name was still on the title and hadn't been transferred. So Modesto PD says once the change of ownership process begins, only then can a report be taken. For now, both the car and ashes remain stolen. Michaela's message to you? That it was very special to me and um, I really want the car back. And the family is planning to head to the DMV to get the title transferred. Modesto police say it is important to verify that you are a legal owner reporting a car stolen. As long as a paper trail for the transfer is started, they can take down a report. Of course, we'll keep you updated on this case.